The world is counting down to the new year, but not everyone is ready to leave the past behind. Doc, I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. <laughs> That's right. It's almost 2023, but people are nostalgic for the past, and we all want it to be, what, the 80s, the 90s? Just look at our closets. Flare jeans, fanny packs, tie-dye, and we cannot forget about the mullet. Check out mine during the business in the front, party in the back days. I'm telling yeah. you, that kid right there. Like two weeks ago. He knew a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kennedy, uh, should you break out the crop top again? Let's Ooh check this out. Whew, that's almost too hot crop for 5 o'clock. Right that's there. Chanel, by the way. That is Chanel. <laughs> Thank you. And, Tom, your sweater vest and pleated jeans, uh, that's a hot commodity. Oh. I like that. Look at the hair. I wish you could see the pants because they were high-waisted and the belt was a little lower. You know what I'm talking about? It's like a casual That's like giving Calvin Klein right there. there. Yeah. yeah. Giving Calvin Klein there, Tom <laughs> Shalhoub. That's an advertisement. <laughs> it was our Harry style. And, Katie, I think this one's from last week. Is that a, a neon <laughs> fanny pack you're wearing? What yeah. is that? Yeah. Look at those pants. Look at the two Amazing. Tube, and look at my glasses. <laughs> neon glasses to match the fanny pack. Super stylish. And Richard, I know you're the fashion guy. Is this a tie-dye and oh. purple pants combo? Yes! What was I thinking? Do we, do we call that Vogue? Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah I in guess Vogue. that's in Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> but you're ahead of the curve, and you're constantly rocking the retro look. Look at this. There you go. <laughs> I brought it back to the wow. 2000s. Look I at that. Like that <laughs> that's pretty good. Is that also Chanel? That <laughs> is not Chanel. I don't know anything <laughs> about Chanel. Chanel. Um... <laughs> So what do you guys think about this? Uh, we're all nostalgic for the 80s and 90s. We talk about movies, like Top Gun had the top movie. Kennedy, what do you think? We, should we, uh, why are we rocking it back to the 80s and 90s? I love the 90s. I'm, I'm a fan. I would love for us to go back there. And, you know, different genres of music, different musicians were getting together, making really interesting music. People weren't grousing about cultural appropriation. Uh, artists were excited. People were inspired by what they were putting out. And you know, I love baby doll dresses and docks. I've never, I've never gotten away from it, and I will not be shamed into into the now. Joey. I love it too. Well, I love that look. My, my only problem with responding to that is I don't know what a baby doll dress or a dock is. Doc Are, Martens. Okay, Doc Martin, I do understand. And they're like, so combat like boots. I got complimented on my suit by Richard yesterday, and I like had a little award I printed out and put up in my. In my <laughs> the date. If you know how bad I dress. Uh, Richard, what do you think about this? I mean, I thought Kennedy might talk about music. We've got movies that are throwing it back. Fashion, obviously, is something you know about that we're throwing it back to. Yeah, I think retro, for whatever reason, retro's in. And I was sort of thinking about it before, while prepping for the show, and I was thinking about, like, what was I watching on television this year? And I was watching a Sex and the City reboot, which is, what is it, and, and now, and, and what is it, Just, and like, just that, like That? And Just Like That. Over the past couple weeks, I was watching The Best Man Final Chapter, another reboot of a show that came out when I was in middle school, right? Or a movie that came out when I was in middle school. Now they have a series. So the, clearly, reboots and retro is in in the 2020s. You know, Katie, they say everything kind of comes back around. There are certain yeah. things that we want to leave in the past. But I read the other day, um, I, I think it was Stallone was saying, I can't remember now, saying that the movies in the 80s were kind of looked bad on. And now everybody's like, you know what? Those were actually some pretty awesome movies. Well, I don't know if it's so much retro or just recycled, like going back around, right? The movies were good. And if you look at the way Hollywood, Hollywood is today, everything, as Kennedy was alluding to, is so tiptoeing around, offending people, mm -hmm. that it's the same cookie-cutter movie plot every single time, and it's very boring, and the creativity actually has gone completely out the window. So it's very predictable, and nobody wants to go see those movies. But back to the fashion, I always find it very funny when normal attire for certain groups of people becomes fashionable, and you'll understand this. So, like, plaid flannel shirts. I wear plaid flannel shirts all the time. Uh, overalls, people wear those to go to work in lots of different parts of the country. Tie-dye, I mean, don't be digging the hippies, right? Or, you know, there are lots of hippies who like to wear tie-dye every single day. Maybe my mother being one of them. <laughs> um, and bandana headbands, that's something that people use all the time. So, you know, I like that my normal fashion is considered chic and in style. So I get you're that. You're not going to buy anything new. You're just going to keep recycling those in your closet. I mean, I'll buy new things. I'm just saying. <laughs> I never some made people it. were ahead of the curve, including people who wear plaid flannel shirts. That is such a good point. Every generation feels like they invented neon. Right. And, and they, it's, like, it's like, it's just, no. You know? yeah. But the fanny pack is an amazing tool. Right? Especially I mean, for travel. It's very practical. And people think it's cool now to put it as a crossbody. 
rather than on the fanny. I think that's cooler. <laughs> so that's a cool way to wear it, but it's still a fanny pack. My I wheelchair agree. has a fanny pack for when I go to like Disney and stuff. I got a little fanny pack on my wheelchair. Yeah, Tom, right. I, I know you're a fashion guy. I'm not going to ask you about clothes or movies. What I'm going to ask you about is even our appliances, even like electronics, like people are giving up their smart headphones and they want like the Walkman headphones again. Everybody wants retro. Yes. And it's, it's not just because they just have general nostalgia. They're looking at entertainment. Almost every show, every good TV series, movie, it's set in the past because you're not allowed to tell stories anymore in an honest way because everyone's policing their speech. So if you want to set an interesting story, you put it in the past. People can say politically incorrect things. Yeah. They can have romances. They can do things without all of the speech codes. It's also kind of annoying because everyone's looking at their phone, so it's terrible when your characters are all, like, staring at their phone and things like that. <laughs> People have to, you know, the other day I was watching an old movie with my daughters, and the guy had to put, pull over, i got to find a phone. You know, they had to actually <laughs> go find a pay phone and put a coin in it. But I'm listening to Hi-Fi. Do you guys have a picture of my Hi-Fi at home? Look at my Sony. This is my dad's stereo uh, turntable. Look at oh, that nice. thing. I mean, it's, oh, nice. It's so nice to put a record on. You have to put it on. You have to listen. Then you have to get up, take the needle off, put it back on. The, it's That's fantastic. That's coming back, actually. I now, on, on that, on that hi-fi, is, is that an original or is that a, a newly made to look that way? No, it's actually the one I grew up with. Uh, my dad awesome. bought it in 1968, and that was the stereo that was in our living room. And I recently took, you know, knocked the dust off it and I had it restored and uh, now I play records on it. And it works. I, I didn't, I had it restored in that, you know, I had them clean out the, yeah. the dirt, but I didn't have to fix it. The turntable still works, plays records at 33 and a third. So, wow. it's, it's interesting because 50% of all physical music sold is now LPs. Yeah. It, it's now vinyl. And it, it was for a long time that the people were, you know, switching gears and, and going from tapes to CDs. And, and now they're, they're buying hard music again because the sound is different. And for a lot of people, it's better. But now the vinyl market has absolutely exploded. So for people our daughter's age, they go to record stores again. And, yeah. and they try and, and but it's, it's, I never try and tell them what I like. I want them to discover it on their own. And my daughter came back with uh, Dr. Dre the Chronic. Speaking, oh, wow. speaking of your daughter, my, <laughs> my son's here. He's 13. So Gen Z, they might dress like us, but they don't really act like us. And they certainly don't party like we do. So according to this study, people born between the mid-90s and the mid-2000s are behaving way better than their parents' generation. I don't, I don't know about behaving better, but maybe not getting in as much trouble. 57% of today's kids admit attending a, a rager with their friends, a, a rager. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I ever went to a rager. We had keg parties. Anyway, with their friends once a month, down from 80% in the 90s. I mean, this is a problem we really need to focus on here. The biggest factor eliminating fun isn't even stricter parents. It's technology. So, uh, you know, it's basically they're just on their phone all the time. Yes, and you can find your kids. So if you have Snapchat and your oh, kids yeah. have Snapchat, you just go to the Snap map and you find out exactly where. There are so many ways to track a child. But, you know, you know, like we would get in the car and be like, bye, I'll be back at 1130 at curfew. And just like, woo, like, <laughs> you know, climbing water towers and doing. Richard, I don't know if you grew up big what. town, small town. I mean, did you go to Ragers growing up? Is that I don't something know what you a had Rager to... is, But I will say, um, I think your Kennedy's right. Like, I think when my mom dropped me off at college and I was like, all right, bye. I went to college at a time where Facebook, you had to have a at something yep. something dot edu yep. which means my mom couldn't that. get on there so and also there wasn't photo albums on facebook then there wasn't a, all you have was like a, a like one picture on your facebook <laughs> so like you basically had college years that were undiscoverable it was a great thing now kids are like I don't know what they do on college campuses anymore. It wasn't as fun as when we were there. So you're the last generation that can actually go into politics, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. People ask me when out your Facebook. run for office, like, well, when they destroy the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I like to think that they are terrified of this kind of behavior being documented. So I know a lot of folks who say what happened in the 70s and the 80s stays in the 70s and the 80s. It wasn't documented, so therefore, if you were having parties or having fun as a normal young person, it wouldn't destroy the rest of your life because it was all going to be streamed on TikTok or on Instagram. So I like to think that they're being more responsible, but I do think that it's that they can talk to their friends on the phone. They don't have to go to a party to see their friends. Uh, Tom, the, this is the same generation that ushered in the eating of Tide Pods. I don't know if it's more responsible. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I think I was ahead of my time. I was not doing drugs and not having sex way back in the 80s. So. <laughs>
I, I believe that like I believe of George curve. Santos's resume. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe 2023 will bring us uh, fashion from the old days and uh, record players that are absolutely in pristine condition. And for me, it's the 1970s and 80s pickup trucks that are costing way too much money now because people are discovering how awesome they are. Yeah. All right. The end of the year fun doesn't stop there, but sh uh, be sure to tune in. Uh, to the Five's New Year special this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and countdown to the All-American New Year live from Nashville starting at 10 p.m. Eastern. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.